New Live at 5, the city of Anniston is streamlining civil service employment applications. Uh, it's a better way to uh, recruit and fill those vacant first responder positions. Your East Alabama reporter, Reggie Kyle, talking with city leaders about this new system. What did you find out, Reg? Sarah, city leaders telling me out with the old and in with the new way to apply to be a first responder with the city of Anniston. As time has developed, people's attention spans are a little bit shorter now, like in the TikTok generation. If you don't get somebody's attention within 30 seconds, you're going to lose it. And the civil service application is fairly long. The city of Anniston announcing a streamlining of civil service employment applications that can now be completed online. The city says this is a better way to recruit more applicants to fill positions in the Anniston Fire and Police Departments. I think all over the world right now, uh, hiring has been a challenge for a lot of entities, whether they're private, nonprofit, or whatever have you. And so making sure that you're staying attentive to the needs of the people looking for jobs is the best way to make sure that you can get your jobs filled. Anniston Police Chief Nick Bowles says this new system couldn't have come at a better time. So right now, the Anderson Police Department, we're 20 short. We're a 91-man department, so we're running at 71 right now. So that's a massive shortage, and that shortage affects the community as far as our response times and being able to get to people as fast as we want to on, on reports and, and low-priority calls. With both first responder departments down in manpower, the city says by doing away with the old paper application system, their recruiters are able to work faster and cut time because everything is now digital. They can call, email, text. You can even let them know what time of the day is best for you. So it's definitely a very casual process that I think is going to give us a leg up in the future when it comes to recruiting the very best for our public safety needs here in the city of Anniston. Jackson Hodgson says this new online portal is live and active and they've seen a tremendous response so far. At City Hall in Anniston, Reggie Kyle, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.